we were we had converted onto the floor it, it the napkin stretched itself all the way outside of the restaurant and into the street and at that point schlapp was like where do i sign exactly there's there's one thing i care about ted and i'm glad we're on the same page about this yeah you are a money loving motherfucker Shung and <laughs> yeah exactly and anyone who says otherwise you know they don't know who they're dealing with um, when it came to bringing Charlie onto the podcast, however, I um, I went into town and I bought the cheapest dream catcher I could find, and I gave it to him. And he, you know, he's been entertained. It was a rainy. Since. It was a rainy day, and I was yeah. under my usual bridge. <laughs> and this nice man walks up to me, I'm just dangling this 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 little this little musty dream catcher at me. Yeah. He dangles it in front of my face a little. <laughs> Kind of try and grab it, and then he yeah. and then he lures me all the way back to this podcast studio. Exactly, I lure him we, into we, a, we record the first episode. I, I lure him into a pre pre prepared streaming room, and I sit him down and, and I and I hang the I hang it right in front of right, well right behind the Dreamcatcher is right behind where his camera is, and uh, you know he's been entertained ever since. He's kind of like a cat. I keep trying to I keep trying to catch these dreams. They just keep slipping right out of my fingers. 